Oh, they're back in Nord. Or settlement. I think it's safe to say that thanks to your effort, the immediate danger to our homeland has passed. Now there is no longer any need for us to leave it behind. We truly have our deepest gratitude. We didn't do all that much, really. Yes, you did, Reen. Yeah, besides, there's no guarantee the Highlands won't be threatened again. Unfortunately so. The Alliance still has plenty of troops on the Erebonian side of the border to continue their assault. The Zender fall, I dare not imagine what could happen. Indeed, I think it would be wise to exercise just as much caution as before. Even so, I wanted to know how much I appreciate what you did. No matter how you look at it, I saved my homeland. From that, I couldn't be more proud to call you my friend. Aw, oh, Gaius. It was nothing. <laughs> You're welcome, but still don't think we did anything that special. Just another day in Reen's life. The people of Nord have been like brothers to all of us in Erebonia for centuries now. It's only right that we lend them a hand when they need one. Thank you, Reed. What he said! Yep, helping out is what friends do. You guys, too. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be saying that for a while yet. Still, while the immediate dangers of Nord may have passed, the same can't be said for Erebonia. Unfortunately not. Your city is entirely under the Alliance's control. Oh, really? And the same is true for most of the country. They have control of everything from the Rhineford building to the Iron Mine, and even the Ruhr Institute of Technology. I feared as much. Hmm. Well, that explains one thing. There was some evidence on that jamming device that pointed it to being made at the Institute. Ooh, really? Ah, yes, they do love German names for things. Like, I can't say it well. That makes sense that the place is under the Alliance's control. I'm betting Schmidt was involved in its development. Well, not that guy. Schmidt? As in the Professor G. Schmidt? He certainly is supposed to be capable, but are you sure? I met him when I was little... Well, with you, right, Grandfather? That you did. He and I go way back. But I really wish we didn't. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to know him. <laughs> He's not an easy guy to like. If you ask me, he is probably involved in the development of the soldats and that giant airship of theirs too. Heck, scratch probably. I can't think of a single other engineer alive who could perfect those things outside of him. He must be crazy good if you're the one acknowledging his skills. Sounds like the Alliance is a really capable man making their weapons. Which is bad for us. Bit aside, what brought you here to begin with, Sharon? I thought you went straight back to Ruhr after the war began. I would have thought Mother would be happier if you were there too. <laughs> I'm here because I discovered that you were here, of course. Contrary to what you may think, that was what the Madam Chairman wanted me to do too. He did? Indeed, she asked me to come and assist you and your classmates for the time being. I haven't been able to get in contact with her since I left Ruhr, however. Okay, Elisa? Thanks, Reen. But I'm fine. We're talking about my mother here. I'm sure she's perfectly okay, wherever she is. Right now, I need to focus on my own goals. I did promise that I'd find a path of my own to show her, after all. And I'm certain she would be pleased to hear that, my lady. I second that. Oh, his family. You're leaving? I am. I don't know when I'll be able to return again, but I will be back. Until then, take care of Lily and Sheeta for me. Oh, and Charles too, of course. <laughs> sure. Thank you, guys. I don't want you to go. You just stay right here. Stop that, Lily. You're making it hard for me to hold back. You too. I know you'll miss him, but try to show your, some understanding for your brother. He has something very important he needs to do with his friend. Aww. Abby is such a sweet family. 
All this has been a stark reminder to me of how fragile the peace of this land is when one of its neighbors is at war. The threat of being drawn into the conflict may have passed for now, but it may not be not stay that way for long. We can no longer expect to live in peace and respective of what's happening on the other side of our borders. If I want to protect the peace of this land, stand up and fight for it. Yes, their ancestors did during the war all those years ago. Oh. Well said. Prince Dreisels himself also first took up arms here in Nord. The warriors of Nord followed suit, taking up their spears. Fight for their friend and brother who loved this land as much as they did. Wait, is that what he saw? At the shrines? He shall try cells. You want to fall in their footsteps, do you? I do. This is my only reason. During my time as a student of class 7, everyone has grown close to my heart. I'm not just fighting to protect the home of my friends, I'm fighting to protect what I consider my second home. Aw, oh, guys. Oh. Thanks. Don't worry, everyone. I'll return safe and unharmed, I promise. I'll also come back more mature and more aware of how I want to live my life after the war comes to an end. So stay safe and wait for me, okay? Uh, okay. Eh. Brother. Alright. I'll do everything I can to keep everything here running smoothly while you're away. I will too. I'll be praying for you every day. I, I... <laughs> May the winds and the goddess watch over you while I'm away. Farewell. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Their parting words said the time came to leave this land of Nord behind. Oh yeah, the spirit path. Nice. Bye-byes. All the kids are waving. Guys' family happily waved to them until they were out of sight. And swearing silently to return to Nord another day, as they entered the spirit path, they started on their journey back to Ymir. Yes. We're back. He's tired again. We did fight and do a spirit path, so I, I understand. We were back. Yeah, and we're all in one piece. This is where we fought that huge monster when we came here last time, right? I can't believe we got so far this fast. This is the spirit path can. This is what the spirit path can do. Unbelievable. I had no idea that already existed a means of transportation faster than trains or airships. It's called the spirit path because it's really only intended to be used by spirits. Not really meant to be used by humans to travel from place to place. <laughs> we'll all have to be very grateful to Master Valimar for allowing us to do so then. And even more grateful still for saving us from quite a perilous situation at the Watchtower as well. Definitely. Yeah, I certainly did. Thanks, Valimar. It's only because of you that we're able to make it back here together. Have a good rest. You've earned it. Acknowledged. Entering active state. Do not hesitate to call my name again should the need arise, my awakener and his friends. Aw, thank you. Like he's asleep. Alright, we should be returning to Ymir. Need to let the others know that we're all okay. Woohoo! I can't wait to see everyone! Everyone good to go? We should be able to make it before nightfall. Yes, I made it back to Ymir. Yep, Valmar. Can't say it in the taxi. <laughs> Valmar taxi time. Spirit path. We're here! <laughs> and not a moment too soon with how dark it's become. 
it's nice to be back here again. Yeah, it's only been a couple of months since we last came here. But it feels more like a couple of years. I suppose that just goes to show how much of an impression your mirror's left on me. <laughs> it's nice to hear you like this place as much as I do. Something feels off though. It's a lot noisier compared to usual. Green? Machias, above all. Thank goodness you're right. Hey, Machias. Yeah, we just got back. Looks like you managed to pick up a few folks while you're Nord. Sure did. Good to see you again, Toval. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good to see you doing good. Okay. <laughs> what? <sighs> uh. Yeah, good to see you doing okay. I can't complain, I guess. Things go fine on your end. I decide, what's the cause of all this commotion? Is there something wrong? Uh, that's right. We got something to tell you, Reen. About your father, he's... Uh oh Oh no. Is something wrong with Dad? No, not at all. On the contrary, he's finally regained consciousness. Woohoo! That's great. Oh. Really? Yep. He's still got some time before he's up and about again, but this is a big step in the right direction. Come on, let's get back to the mansion. I'll be happy to see you, Reen. Can I save? Oh, he's awake. Yes, that's awesome. Welcome home, Reen. And I see your friends are with you, too. Hello there. Sorry I can't do much more to welcome you, but I'm happy to see you here. Dad. <laughs> Not at all. Just glad that you're awake. We heard about what happened, sir. It's wonderful to know that you're well enough to talk to us like this. <laughs> Appreciate your concern. Incidentally, I believe that you, Oval and Captain Claire, I believe, have been watching over the village in my stead. On behalf of the people of Ymir, I'd like to thank you all for what you've done. As this village's lord, I truly could not feel more honored to have your aid. <laughs> Aw, no need to thank me. But just a little something I was doing on the side. The people of Ymir have shown me nothing but kindness during my stay. At least I can do to pay that kindness. And have every intention of keeping up with my patrols to ensure the village sees no further bloodshed. Thanks to both of you. If Ymir could stay out of harm's way, I know that my family could rest easier. Where my injuries have caused both of you plenty of grief, Lucia and Reen. I only hope you'll forgive me for worrying you. Had I not been so utterly incompetent, Lise and Princess Alfin would have never have been taken from us to begin with. No, you don't need to apologize. Them being captured isn't your fault, Dad. It never was. What matters that you pulled through for us, and itself is a miracle. Now you leave everything else to us and focus on recovering. We'll bring them back, I promise. Absolutely. We fully intend to do everything we can to support you. Yeah, we'll bring them back in no time. As long as Class 7 is together, there's nothing we can't do. <laughs> I can agree more. I have every confidence that you'll rescue Lady Elise and Her Highness. Oh, aren't you guys just bringing me with optimism? No, we only have three... Only got three members of Class 7 to find now. Which means that all three are around Legram. That's where we'll find Emma. I mean, they stay there, yeah. And then we can finally be together again. Yes, everyone will be back. I'll be praying to Adios for you. And remember... Make the most of the time you have to take a well-earned break. You won't be able to leave tomorrow regardless, yes? That's right. We need to wait for Valimar to finish recovering. Only took about a day last time, and I don't see why it would be any different this time. I admit a part of me wishes I could leave right away, but I just have to sit tight and be patient. I think it's for the best anyway. You can double-check Ymir's defenses one last time while we wait, too. Thank you, Tovel. Oh well. I'll leave Elise. And I'll finish. I only went to sleep. Tired. Talked a lot. Oh. Looks like he went back to sleep. 
He still hasn't got most of his stamina back, I'm afraid. It'll be a while longer before he's ready to see any of the villagers, too. Not surprising, really. He got shot up real bad. In the meantime, it'll be my honor to assist you in any way I can. Oh, Sharon's cooking, yes. I'm confident my skills as a maid will be to be used. I thank you. I'll be delighted to take you up on that. And like your father said, take care to rest as much as you can tomorrow. Of course. And you should take care to not overwork yourself, please. We're happy to help out whoever you can. Yes, let the magical girl help you out. That was how we all made it safely back from Lord. But my father's awakening spread throughout the village like wildfire. And while there were still plenty of dark times looming in the horizon, for the first time in a while, the people of Ymir had a reason to smile. Yes. They're enjoying the party. Oh. Hey, I'm real happy right now. Yeah. Green and Sharon can now use overdrive when linked with one another. Reenacting as a medium, Elise and Sharon can now use Overdrive. Okay. Interesting. Yes, another new day. Oh, it's been a few days. Works for me. Looks like Dad's staying in bed today. Good. He's all the rest he can get. I'm glad he's woken up, at least, even if he's still got a long way to go until he's fully recovered. I'll bet everyone else has already gone out for the day. I should probably go find something to do, too. Gotta make the most of the day to get it ready for tomorrow. Alright. Leave bonding points. Yes. I have three points. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. And I thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everyone for watching my stream as well. Hello friends, my name is Shrine and it's time for more Trails of Cold Steel 2 Legend of Heroes. And Reen has little cutesy Mishy girl on, Michette on, it's so cute. But it's time to rest up and start a new day. I go rest in my room now? Sure. Using a rest will cause the main story to advance. Off screen I did do some snowboarding and around a bit. Nothing too important. Any unseen bonding events will no longer be well, I have no more points, so let's rest. Gotta go save our friends tomorrow. Nice and rested for it. Ooh, we can ignore classmate. Disabled orbital wave gym. Beat Blue Block and Altina quickly, yes. I want to explore Arius. Oh, that gave me points? Nice. 7,500 mirror. Class, ooh. Oh, you went up a rank. I did. Oh, Dovel's doing it. Here's a little something from the guild. Rank increased to rank B4. Received true gladiator headband as a perk. Oh, nice. More accessories are needed. Rank increased to rank B3. Ranking up a lot. Received dragon vein as a perk. Ooh, I like that one. Nice work. Thanks, Dovel. Island's Hunt gave me 4 AP, falling around 4, that's a more foreign as an adventure. That was a hidden quest, it's awesome. <laughs> you should be proud of S yourself. rank for the chapter, nice. That was fun. I'm excited for this game, it's been going well. I had to really play 3, it came out of this week, so I'm like, I do this one first so badly. Good morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? You did, thank you. I think I can speak for everyone when I say that. It was just what we need to take on the day. Breakfast was delicious, too! I'm kind of jealous of Irene. <laughs> really? It wouldn't have been possible if not for Sharon. It's been incredible help these past couple of days. You even taught me a few new tricks in the kitchen. 
All this cooking has been rather fun without with her around. That's great. Oh, the pledge has been all mine. This has been a wonderful opportunity to learn more about the local dishes. I simply can't wait to treat each and every one of you to the recipes I picked up at practice. <laughs> I doubt you even need the practice, Sharon. You're just kidding. Just don't forget that this isn't your home, okay? Overstepping your bounds. <laughs> but of course. Incidentally, how is Baron Swardzer? As much a relief it is to see him up and about again, he doesn't seem to be at factors of self just. I'm afraid not. And you wouldn't be the only one either. Father Bernard said as much when he came by as well. For now he needs to be getting his strength back. So, we uh, got shot up really bad a few episodes ago and still need to recover from that. I'd say that take a lot of recovery, but okay. We'll have to take things one step at a time, but so long as he eats well and gets plenty of rest, I'm told he'll be fine. Hope so. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hi. Just please tell him not to try and rush things. His mom. No need to tell me. I heard you just fine myself. Oh, look who's here. You're all bandits. Oh gosh, poor Baron. Shouldn't you be resting, darling? What did I literally just say? You should get back to bed, Dad. Not to worry. My injuries have entirely closed up at this point, so a little trip down the stairs won't kill me. If anything, I'm a bit unsteady on my feet after all that sleeping. But you can't fault me for wanting to see my son and his friends off, can you? You can figure your old man for playing tough, just... Well, it's just this once. If you must. You can clearly see who Reen takes after. Dad, ain't that the truth? I don't doubt for a moment that you'll find your classmates and bring them back here safely. So go out there and do it. Go, walk the path you want to take to turbulent times. You may not know what the path is just yet, but so long as you're together, you'll find something to guide you in the right direction. Dad, I'll be back before you know it. So then, I'll do everything here in your capable hands. Won't let you down. Good luck, son. That's nice as Dad came down to see off. Oh, Shall we get going? We're going to see Valley at the end of the valley, right? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, we need to use a spirit path again to travel, and he's our way in. We need to figure out who going to be going this time too. <laughs> I'll leave making that decision to you, Masterine. Yeah, I agree. Let's make sure we take care of everything we need to before taking off too. Roger. Oh. Only take a few people? No! Not many people at all! Elliot. Elisa. Ooh. Ooh, who the pick? I don't know. I'm sad you can't take many. I don't want Sharon, because she's new. I want to see how she works. Sharon, you're coming with. In preparation, Serena and chosen group, the rest went on ahead. Where'd they go? I think I'm good. Do I need to go? Where, Valley? After the end of the Valley, the story will advance and it won't be possible to turn to Ymir for a while. Let's take off, right? I think so. Let's go. Let's do this. He's awake! Reboot complete. Returning from an active state. The Awakener and secondary contractor waveforms detected. Looks like he's got more than enough mana back now. Yeah, we should be able to use a spirit path anytime we want. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get used to this thing. The worlds are amazing for sure, but the Divine Knights make them seem ordinary by comparison. The Panzer sold out certainly can't compare to Divine Knights in terms of strength. As they can be mass produced and used in a wide variety of strategies, however, they do have their advantages. Everything we've done so far, I'll bet the Alliance will be more on guard after. Against the Ashen Knight than before. 
Yeah, I bet. Especially since they have their own. Oh, grow, yes. You need to avoid using Valamere for sleep for the time. Point. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Still, looking at him, it's hard not to be on our side. <laughs> Can't argue with that. After all, it's only thanks to him that we drive the Alliance forces up Nord. And he did it in style, too! <laughs> well, no, we're just going to need to be aware of our own limits and do what we can. We can use follow minor strategies, but we can't expect him to bail us out every time. As the knives a chance to grow, we would do just that if we ever find a rightful place in this war. I can agree, Maureen. I've got your backs all the way, too. Anyway, with that settled, our next step to the. Anyway, if that's settled, our next destination is the Graham, right? That's the one. Time to grab the last of us. But just to be sure, could you double check that for us, Valmer? Acknowledged. Two waveforms detected in the Graham to the south southeast. All vital signs appear normal. Wait, just two? Two? At least it's not hard to guess who those two could be. But wait a second. Two, last time I asked you said there were three. He did, didn't he? Oh yeah. Who left the area then? Luke Crow for obvious reasons, but that still doesn't narrow things down. They're useless Laura or Emma. Makes you wonder why they left the who. Why'd they leave? A detection mechanism is not perfect. The results can be influenced by the round. Oh, right. In other words, if the third person was on the move or aboard an airship, you wouldn't be able to sense them. Really. I can account for the discrepancy. What am I doing? I see. That could account for the discrepancy. I understand that you're concerned, but the situation in Erebonia has changed constantly. You won't get very far if you let yourself waver from something small, Reen. I'm a Captain Claire. At the very least, you know that two of your classmates are there. No need to freak out just yet. He'll tell you where the other person went. Just choose who's going to move, okay? Yeah, you guys are right. Any ideas on who should go and stay? For a start, I think we should stick with traveling with the same number of people as the last time. The four of us. Solo and Captain Claire, I prefer if one of you came along as well. Does that work for everyone? If I may be so bold, I'd like to add my name to the list of choices. Did you agree to let me join? It will be my honor to serve you the utmost of my abilities, whether Lady Lisa is with us or not. Actually, that'd be great, Sharon. Or great. No matter how you slice it, having her come would be a huge help. That means at least two of us will be remain behind and serve their village. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a winner, dummy. Thanks, Sharon. We're happy to have your help. In that case... I thought he did this. He picked my party. Yeah. Not that strong, but still not to work. Still not to do it. Proceed. to go. Plus, we'll be getting two others, especially Laura's coming, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine if Laura and Toe once we get her. You guys ready to head out? Ready when you are. Might find someone's been keeping an eye on the guild house for me while I've been away. Say thanks to them for me, okay? Not sure if you'll have any reason to drop by, but if you do, I've got a feeling they'll lend you a hand. I don't see any reason why we can't. Take care and have a safe journey. Bye-bye! I think it's time we depart, hmm? What, Celine? Right! Valimar, open the spirit path! Destination, the Graham! Acknowledged. Yes, activating spirit path.
All right, it's time to go through the spirit path. Look cool. Very cool. Way down to the Graham. Made it. All in that area, that dangerous area. It's foggy. There is foggy here. Thank goodness we arrived safely. And it. And this must be the thick fog that I've heard so much about. Where we fought the Archaism. That should mean we're on Elbow Highway. Well, we've got more than Archaism to deal with this time. The higher elements seem to be active in this area as well. Just like they were when that cryptid appeared. Oh. Wait a minute. That means something strange is happening here too. Hey my, stay on guard everyone. Along the highway to the south will lead us to Lagram. Once there, we can ask around and see if anyone's seen anything off. Agreed, alright, let's... Wait, have you been to Lagram before? That, that doesn't matter right now. Let's just go. Oh yeah, she came. She snuck along with us in the first game and on her field trip. That was cute. Ooh. Tell them our sleeping people. I don't think anyone will find him here. Fog should make for good cover, I hope. Indeed. Now it's all settled. Should we make our way to Lagram? Yes, we shall. So, let's see. Place like. Is that an enemy? Huh. That treasure chest looks really nice. Pleasure. Didn't see where it was in the fog. Ooh, death blows in play. Gary! Greedy Reaper. Oh no! Oh no! Counterings. With pleasure. I'm gonna decimate it real bad. This won't take long. Hey, it's alive. Shadow six. Perfect. Okay. I can detect it now. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. What are you made out of, Deadly Reaper? Greedy Reaper. I've got it. Level 67. A warm monster that lurks underground. Body is covered in tough armor and it drains HP from its prey. No Eat it! <laughs> Down, Elisa. We made it out in one piece. Alive! Alive! Oh, look! There's a treasure chest! Barely see it now. <laughs> Flame tongue obtained. So, I got faith. Like I'll be going through the highway later on, so I think I'll just make my way out. Won't be a very long episode. I believe I shocked it. This will be over in an instant. Let's move. Let's move to Gale. Second form. Gale. Now's our chance. Let's rush him. And a few. Okay. Oh, all three. Nice. There it is so awesome. Right? Fun? Well, they're both one. Hopefully. Okay, wrong way. Gotta go down the hill, not up the hill. I was like, they're both living on, so I'm not quite sure which way is which. We'll need to turn right to reach the town then. Info, Reen. I 
can barely see where I'm going. I could totally see myself getting lost in this. Okay, the item though. I, I want this item. What's a big boy? I hope we're strong enough to take that monster on. Can't yeah, break him though. This one looks strong. Let's move. Kinda use her face shell. Oh, so many of them. Use it. Use it. Okay, Sharon's you awesome. Tarry here too long. Very awesome. Huh? Thank goodness! Isn't this a surprise? How are you surprised? You know you're amazing. Oh look! There's a treasure chest! Blue scaled mail. Ooh. Things to have. Green. What's the wind? Strength goes up. Hopefully the fog will clear up once we go to the cram. It might not, it might, but kinda get chest on the way. I'm sure they're gonna bring us out here again for quest or something like this. <laughs> bring it on. Oh, zero art. Do it! Yeah. Let's go. Almost got him. Oh, you may. Okay. I'm gonna detect it. Enemy I forgot to last time. I've got it. Rose room. A mollusk formed from several pink spores. Possesses a powerful neurotoxin. Touching it causes paralysis. Oh no, not paralysis. No problem. Not paralysis. No. Molten rain. You're not getting away. Molten rain. Now's our chance. Time to strike. Oh, I thought I got rid of them all. That's fine. My turn. May I? We mustn't tarry here too long. Unscathed, yes. Not bad. I just wanted that item, okay? EP charge too. Oh, I do like how the lights are glowing here. Fix them up. A lot of work. Not a walk. Work. That's really foggy. Way to the gram. Well, we're here. Made it. The Graham. The lakeside town. Oh, it's foggy when we first make it to the Graham. So, this is Laura's hometown, is it? It feels sort of mystical. See what Laura meant when she called it a town of mist and legend. Time to get to work. First order of business is figuring out who and where the two class members in this region are. You might want to start by asking at the Bracer Guild. But it asks us to press pass on as regards to where we <laughs> I wonder if we do idea mastering. Imagine what kind of useful information they might have to share with us. Let's go! Racer Guild Legram Brand. So who's in here? Where's Sarah anyway? Excuse me, is anyone in? Hi, my, you're great at visitors. 
Come on in, the door's unlocked. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the Grand Branch of the Bracer Guild. You don't seem to be around here. Help you with anything? Loss. What? You look really familiar. Might you be Laura's classmates from Class 7? Loss. Oh, are they acquaintances of yours? Indeed. You are Lady Laura's treasured classmate. I expected we would meet here. You must be the Arsid family butler. <laughs> I believe we share very similar professions. Loves. Butler. Let me introduce, reintroduce myself to you. I'm Klaus and I serve Viscount Arsid and family. I'm most relieved to see that you are all well and good at help. I'm certain that Lady Laura will be very... Then... Laura really is here? Certainly is. She has been staying here with Emma for some time. Oh, Emma's here too? Awesome! Although I fear you have just missed the two of them. Not long ago. You're the Class 7 I've heard so much about, are you? Erin and Tova are always going on about you. You! Miles. I like that name. My name is Miles. I'm currently serving as a receptionist at the Grand Branch of the Guild. Mind filling me in on what you've been up to? Sounds like plenty has been happening on your end. As in. The Lord came here immediately after the war was out? Correct. He arrived for other classmates and has been hiding here since. You're all here. Turning to unite everyone. I have no idea that much in the ship. While well, I've heard talk of an ash colored knight, I didn't realize it belonged to you. Sounds like you fought rather well over in Keldrick and You know about that already? <laughs> really can't beat the guild's information network. I suppose it saves us time explaining what happened. Factoring in all that you have seen elsewhere in the country, it really does appear that something is happening behind Perhaps a strange circumstances. Perhaps the strange circumstances in the Grand Fleet are what's happening. Something of concern happening here? Yeah, a couple of things actually. First, we have never before monsters appearing on the highway. Second, we have a thick fog that hasn't cleared for a month. Oof. That does count unusual. Foggers owner F occurrence, but fog lasting for an hour a month? Normal. Not an inaba? Oh, wait, fog! Indeed. No natural phenomenon. As such, the town folk are beginning to grow rather disturbed by it. For the Viscount here, I'm certain he watched their worries, but alas. Is he missing? He is. I've yet to hear anything from him at a month. That must have been what he went to. That must have been he went to Trista. Oh yeah. Well, it is a Viscount Arce we're talking about. I find it hard to believe anything could happen to him. You're in agreement. I'm of the belief that he is simply budding his time, waiting for the perfect chance. Great loss not to have him here at a time like this. On the bright side, the Noble Alliance's power doesn't reach quite this far. Which leaves us free to focus on dealing with problems like these. Klaus has been a wonderful help in that regard, as has Lady Laura and Emma. Both in helping out with the guild stuff, huh? Do you have any idea of where they are now? You said something about them going out earlier, didn't you? Indeed, they left not long ago. Emma said that she sent something out of the ordinary at Logram Castle. Got a castle again. With that, they hurried there aboard a boat to investigate. Is that the castle we learned about in one of Instructor Thomas's lectures? You visited it during your field study here, didn't you, Reen? Yeah, we got out some strange things there last time. And only two of them went there? Yes, I did try to convince them to do otherwise, but they remained adamant. They insisted 
If we cannot do something as simple as this, how can we hope to see our friends again? I barely bring myself to press the matter any further after hearing this much. I can easily picture it. Ah, when she gets idea in her head, there's no helping her. Given this circumstance, it's only right for us to help them. Three, let's head to Low Room Castle. <laughs> I heard you were. I'm sure, they'll be most of you. This them wherever you can. I will see. Riding a boat for you once. And as you are ready to depart, make your way towards the. Well, definitely will. No, let's go and get ready. I can need to buy no more weapons. It's in wartime situations like these that the power of the guild is needed. I don't have many bracers I can send out. I have to be sure to send them to the most trouble first. I came to the Graham. I'm going to get news in the west from here. This to happen though. Fair thing here to me. Please do what you can to bring Laura and Emma back safely. Alright. Really foggy. Good day and welcome to Apricose. <sighs> I feel this so much more often lately. I'm kind of tired of it. Not that having more customers thing. My Mali's aside, are you staying the night or just stopping in for a meal? I'll give you some tea in the house either way, but only condition that no men may ever make eye contact with Lady Laura. Oh. Laura's oh, sure popular here. Bet she is. Just tread lightly around the girls here to much to incur their wrath. Their wrath. You're a reader? One of the previous visitors recommended a book, book to me a while back. I was a little hesitant at first since it was about gambling, but it's actually surprisingly interesting. I can see this curiosity in your eyes. Give it a look yourself. Sounds highly recommended. I see. Getting it everywhere. Thank you. Can I buy anything? I have a little bit to exchange. To peel off to my belly. Oh, buy it, but. This town has just the sort of dignified aura one would expect. Until the mansion would all enter you and ruin everything. Paris it is a little more than a branch school. Here its master is lacking as a ruling lord as he is a swordsman. Food here on the end is delectable. Not by virtue of the surrounding greenery, so it doesn't even count. Wow. I always knew the arts had found and hoped to measure up to my illustrious lord, and I was right. Supposed to be. Seemed really strong for some reason to run in. <laughs> Why, well, she must be a traveler, of course. I wouldn't have said it. Okay. See her again. Maybe. Oh yeah, I never go down here. I've been here once last time. You! Go fishing! Even in times of rage and strife, fish swim through our waters all the same. If we cannot take for granted. While we're at it, let me share recipes that will allow you to greater appreciate much for you this lake. Oh, thank you! you gave me the seafood pilaf. I wanted that. Awesome! We've been seeing our fair share of evacuees coming in from the liner on the west. The horrific times we're living in, certain. Aw, thanks for the recipe. Walk out. Got a Watteau. Goods. Good day to you all. It's wonderful to see you here. I'm here from the highway. Must have been quite the undertaking in a fall like this. It's been causing us no end of trouble since it first appeared. Break much more easily for a curious example. Really? That's an issue that's particularly pronounced in orbits too. I find it uh, creepy. For lack of a better word, there's not much we can do about it. On the topic of if you know anything about fixing, let Duncan know. Give them working in no time. Thanks. Great charm. Rent sleeping at- oh, I want to buy that now. 
Baron for now. Buy another one. They usually just get charms in the last game, but it's hard to get Good here. A book to sell or something. At chapter four. Have that. Buy this again. So I think they're useful because nightmares. Nightmare happens a lot. Oh, I never. If it isn't class seven, I to see y'all well. Be safe and sound here in the Graham, so take a load off and enjoy. We've had our fair share of strange occurrences around here of late. There's nothing we can't handle. Well, protection of the goddess and the spirits at least. Tell them all thanks for all they've done. Any good things? And Stu's here. Those. Petrify Shield Breaker. Those. Oh, points. All. Get. Back. Back two's here. Get those. Heal, burn on somebody. Breath. Ooh. Huh? Maybe. Two. Maybe. Good. Yep. Nightmare on Reen. Looking through everything. We're gonna have to work on their orbs later. Good things to buy. Weapons. New weapons. Asagiri. Saturine. Aqua bow. Have your lovely bow, my dear. Bone cracker. Knives. Baron you. Metal string. Okay, sure, he has it on. Cool. Up his defense a bit. And it goes down by a lot. Boots. And it goes. Oh. He did. Build coat. Spike. And everything. Yes, shield spikes on. Your coat. Mr. Green. I want our strength to go down. Vince goes up a lot. Okay. Oh, no wear him. Police on. I'm gonna wait on Elliot for now, just I might use Emma more. Quite certain. But yeah, so I got something. Where else I wanna go in town before I run off? Guild brain. Oh, there's just so much to do. Fog just keeps making more and more work for us to do. It, you? Have you come to save Lady Laura away from us? Stand down. I refuse to allow so much as one man to even approach her. Whoa. Wait. Didn't miss this. I bet you didn't, Rain. Not like the men folk. Must be something I can do for Vivi. The sister's job to extend her care to those who come to the church. No, it's my duty. It's also to do Father on the car, but expecting to actually do it is a lost cause. I got to handle this. Oh, Vivi! <gasps> Save, please. Wait, I know you. That's just 
Deviant sister. Rain? You're in class 7? Lindell. Oh. Oh, Lind. Look at Lindell with the exclamation mark. Lind, you are Lind, right? Ugh, wrong, it's me, Vivi. But Rain, how could you forget me? How could you be so cruel? After all the magical nights we spent together, too. Or was I just another name of your long list of conquests? What? Yes, Reen, please explain! Just stop before someone actually starts believing you. Although I have to admit, I never thought I'd actually miss your sense of humor. I can imagine it was easy to get all the way down to the gram. Putting it lightly, if it wasn't for everyone else who made it here, I don't know if I would have done it. I lost sight of Lind while I was running away, though. No, oh, her twin. Terrible. Must have been forcing that clearness a minute ago, then. I've been coming here to pray every day since we arrived. I haven't heard a thing about what she might be or what she's up to. <laughs> Sorry, I know none of this really worry me, but I just can't help it. Wherever she is, I don't doubt that your sister's alive and well. Keep your faith in her. I'm sure you'll be reunited. <laughs> But don't you worry about me. You got too much to worry about without me making things any worse. Guessing you're trying to meet up with your classmates around here? Hope that works out. Two thanks. Aw, Vivi. You're right. The best thing I can do for Lynn now is keep on believing in her. I just wish I could contact her. Losing herself. We I connect with Lynn somehow. Aw, what's that? And a life around here is no fun lately. Getting all these evacuees on a regular basis, which means I'll actually gotta do things. Like sermons and stuff. Zucks, I'm telling you. I'll cut up for the whole work thing. Aw. Oh, that was great, but okay, you gotta work. Go check out the school real quick. What a pleasure to see you again. Summer feels like it was a long ago. Oh, going after Lady Loris? I see. Are you? I see. We would have liked to accompany her ourselves, but we have a duty to this time to keep it safe. Times like these, we need to divide the work amongst every capable body to ensure that we put our talents to work. This fog doesn't make the highways dangerous enough. Monsters here have been especially nasty lately. Real concerned that they might wander to town eventually. One could spell disaster. The students in the outside school, it falls to us to make sure that never happens. Work hard, guys. For you. <laughs> I may be a noble by blood, but I simply cannot accept the alliance's ways. My outrage prompted me to leave my home and return to Lagram. Now I'm here, I'll devote all that I am to protecting this town to display just how much strength I've gained. Good job. With all the patrolling we've been doing, we haven't had much time to train as we used to. That means we need to fulfill, put our full concentration to the training we and we have. On a really note. How much do you know about Emma? Every time I see her fighting, it's like she's doing magic. I can hardly believe my eyes for the first time. <laughs> oh, buddy, I've got some big news for you. <sighs> At least it sounds like she's been keeping herself busy while she's here. <laughs> I thought he liked him. He was like, uh, magic. He used magic. Eating room. Oh, hey. Wait a second. Is that you, Reen? Casper? You flee the Academy of Laura and Vivi? Right. I spent most of my time he since here at the training hall and helping out whenever I can town. To be honest, I've been buying my time and waiting for a chance to take a boat out west to see my family. Yeah, you're from a coastal town over there, right? You must be fairly worried. I'm trying not to let it bring me down. It's hard to justify sitting around hoping when Emma and Laura are working so hard to write. Keep hard on yourself. Don't try to push yourself too hard, Casper. No one can blame you for having mine right now. 
Oh, by the way, we went to Monica in our travels too. I'm missing care of her right now. Really? Oh, that's great news. Thank Let me know. You're off to meet Laura at the castle, right? If I could tell her too, she'd be even more excited than I am. Oh, they were in the swimming club. That's him. He was always in a swimming outfit, so I didn't recognize him. Boys. Okay, okay. Time for us to get moving. I'm not just worried about my family. Mine, of course, and Alan from my class. They're both pretty strong, though, so they're probably holding out somewhere. Listen, so what I can do here. Anyway, you're off to the castle, right? Try to give Laura all the support you can. Will do. Try my best. Where else should I go? Don't know. Let's see. Where to go? Yeah, the girls in this game are scary in Laura's hometown. They're like, yeah, mess up Lady Laura. Ever. Ever. So this is the statue, right? Plants made in the Einstein Ritter. In praise of their valor during the War of Lions, may their souls rest in peace. Can I fish here? Probably fish. Yes. Where? Oh, I could probably fish. Here. Find a place. Yes. This fish. Three tries. Okay. Got a new rod. Wait, did I change it? Hopefully, it changed automatically because I always forget to change my rods. Check. Okay. Yeah, fish. Not bad. What's in his bass? You knew? First time bonus, yeah. Black bangle coughed up. Yeah, I need to put excellent rod on. Standard rod modified for catching fish. Alright. Still got a good one, didn't I? I think so. I like the fishing. It's easy. <laughs> fishing going. Alright. At 24. Okay, it's not bad. Huh. Not that far in the game. 20 hours in. Oh, what's a profit? Crayfish. I think it's a red crayfish. Called. Not what I had in mind. <laughs> uh. Oh, I got it. Save. Well, I'm going to end this episode here, but I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I do always appreciate it. Have an awesome day. Bye.